Hello, singers! I just wanted to show you how my course from Vocal Strain to Healthy Belting in Seven Days looks from the inside. So, this is the login page. You're going to get your login information when you buy. So, you just go to this page and it looks like this. And there you see it's really seven days from day one to day seven. And I would recommend to also learn this day by day, step by step, you know, so that you're not overwhelmed. And on day, day one, we start with a foundation for healthy belting. Very important. It's about breathing and about several steps uh, you need to know about your lips and your jaw and your tongue. Then you have bonus exercises here for day one. On day two, you're ready to master the art of support. I mean, with this, we're going to learn how to use a diaphragm the right way for healthy belting. This is uh, definitely a key lesson because I also have advanced students who come to me. There are a lot of misunderstandings about the diaphragm use. So for me, it was very important to do this on day two and on day three you're ready to learn the crybaby singing method it's like an introduction and um, you also get an anatomy lesson here which is also very important so you know what you do and where everything is located so you have better voice control so and then on day four we start with the baby sigh this is belting for low volume one to four out of ten if ten is the highest volume you sing this is for quiet songs with high notes if you don't want to use your head voice okay we have the sound of the baby sigh how this how the characteristics it are vowels that work best for it exercises for the baby sigh and rules and limits of the baby sigh because every sound of the crybaby singing method has rules and limits the next one is the baby wine. It's for middle volume belting, meaning from um, five to seven out of 10. So for songs who are sung in a middle volume, many would call it also the mixed voice. I call it baby wine because the characteristics, characteristics sorry, are a little more, well, more important for me to, for the sound, okay? So it's a special sound we have here. Also, the exercises can rules and limits. Then on the day six, you're ready for the baby shout. This is a more loud belting. Uh, volume seven to eight out of ten. It's for soul, for punk, for uh, just everything. Pop, rock songs. Also, you have the sound, the character, the vowels, the exercises, and the rules and limits. And then we have the baby scream on day seven. If you want to belt very very loud like if you're a metal rock singer or something but, but it's also used for soul like volume 10 out of 10 you know and the sound of it the vowels that work best the scream baby scream exercises and rules and limits and let's just go to rules and limits no let's go to sound because i made for every lesson about the sound i made examples for you famous examples. So you can learn the sound by listening to famous singers. For example, the first one would be Cindy Lauper. And I also included the exact seconds and minutes from when to when uh, I mean that she is singing in baby scream. Okay. And there are also the notes, the highest note, for example, D sharp five. Then we have, let's see, I also have Beyonce in listen. Also the same here. You got the link. You can go there and just watch the seconds and minutes and just listen to it. What I, what I mean with the baby scream sound. If you just listen and learn by listening. Okay. So then we have all in audio. We have all written out also. So I hope I could give you a little overview and hope that this helps with your decision.